Okay, so today we're gonna review what we learned before break, which is chapter five, lessons one, two, and three. So lesson one was about integers and graphing. An integer is a number from the set of positive and negative whole numbers. Integers greater than zero are positive. Integers less than zero are negative. Always use the negative sign to indicate a negative number. Example one, write an integer for each situation. 16 feet under the ground. Because it is under the ground, the integer is negative 16. And we don't use labels because it's just asking for an integer. B, a gain of five hours. Because it is a gain, the integer is positive five. And you don't put a plus sign in front of a positive number. You only put a negative in front of a negative number. Example two. To graph an integer on a number line, draw a point on the number line at its location. A set of integers is written using braces, such as this. Example two, graph the set of integers on a number line. So let's draw a number line. We know our lowest number is negative five, and our highest number is three, so I'm gonna put those on my number lines and then fill in everything in between. So now we want to graph negative 5. So we're going to put a dot at negative 5. Graph negative 2. So we're going to put a dot at negative 2. And then graph positive 3. So we put a dot at positive 3. So to graph the integers, you just plot a point at each of those numbers on a number line. Lesson 2 is absolute value. Opposites are numbers that are the same distance from zero in opposite directions. The absolute value of a number is the distance between the number and zero on a number line. The symbol for absolute value is the two bars. So because absolute value is distance, that means absolute value is always positive. So examples, evaluate each expression. That just means to solve absolute value of negative two. So what is negative two's distance from zero on a number line? It's positive two. So absolute value is always positive because it represents distance. If there was a negative on the outside, this would mean find the opposite of the absolute value of negative two. And the absolute value of negative two is positive two, and the opposite of that is negative two. So if there's a negative on the outside, then your answer is negative. Letter B, absolute value of eight plus absolute value of negative six. Absolute value of eight is eight plus absolute value of negative six is positive six. And eight plus six is 14. Lesson three, compare and order integers. The inequality symbol pointing right is greater than. The inequality symbol pointing left is less than. Example one, replace the circle with less than or greater than to make the statement four is what to negative five true. So four is what to negative five. So positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. And four is also more to the right on a number line than negative five. So because four is to the right, it's greater than negative five. So we use the arrow pointing to the right. Example two, order the integers one, negative two, and three from least to greatest. So on a number line, negative two would be the most to the left, then one, then three. So that would be our order from least to greatest. So the number more to the left on a number line is the least, and the number most to the right is the greatest.